Good morning. Um, I'm going to show you first <clears throat> how to do Tween Tribune. Tween Tribune is um, a website that has a variety of articles that are student related of student interest. Um, you will first go right here to teacher sign up. <clears throat> sign up for an account. I'm just going to go ahead and click log in since I have one. Okay, once you have logged in, you have a variety of options. Over here, you'll see um, I've given my class a name. I've called it uh, fourth grade. You can click here and change the classroom. I also have a fifth grade account. Um, underneath this, um, there's a step-by-step -step instructions for new users. Um, comments waiting approval and I have none at this time. When students make comments on the articles, uh, you approve them before they ever are published, which I really like. Um, <clears throat> you can see all your students' comments here, share the comments with parents, uh, print the comments. Uh, if they take quizzes, you can do that as well. And then down here in the green is where you can add students to a class or remove students from a class, um, change a student's username and password, um, have a list of all your um, students and there's lots of tools here these are all the teacher tools that you're going to need so I'm just going to show you what it looks like this is what a student looks like when they log in as well they've got all these articles here and they can choose which one they want to do um, we'll click are you brave enough to pull a gorilla's tooth that sounds something that would be interesting to some fifth grade boys So you get an article, um, you read the article, and this actually isn't very long, um, but you read the article and then you can see other students' replies and what they have said about it. And at the bottom, um, you can zip through all the rest of them. Um, sometimes it'll be pages upon pages upon pages, and usually I tell my students to read one or two of the comments. But right under the article, there's a button right here that says add a new comment. If you click that, it's going to give you a box. Where you can add your comment. You can also, after you have done that, you can preview it to see what it's going to look like. Or you can save it. Um, and at the bottom, there's a, a one that says publish. Um, now the students will do this and it won't actually publish it'll shoot it to this box of yours and then you will click on that and approve it and then it'll go onto the site so <clears throat> I think that um, this has been um, a great resource for my kids because they're actually responding to reading and a lot of them um, I, I can tell them that they need to post I can make it specific like I want you to post an opinion because with fifth grade, we're really working on rep opinion writing. They can also reply directly to a person's comment. Um, <clears throat> they might not want to make a general. They might make a general comment, and then they might want to reply to something someone else said. Um, so this gives them the tool to make it a little more interactive. So that's pretty much Tween Tribune in a nutshell. It's completely free. Uh, you can sign up as many students as you'd like, as many classes as you'd like. Um, the, th the hardest thing I found about this website was that um, I registered all my students by hand. So when I registered all my students, that took a bit of time. So it took me a week or so to get everybody put in, working on it a little at a time. Um, and then, of course, you have to do, um, you can do a mini lesson to the kids, especially if you're in a computer lab, do a mini lesson to the kids of actually how to use the site. But um, that's about all there is to it. It's really simple and easy. There's a little bit more for the teacher to do, but as far as the student, they just read and respond.